she going back to? Oh! I'm coming for you, Rachel. Oh! And this time, I'm taking you with me. What's up, everybody? This your boy, Movie Man Greg, coming at you guys with another reaction. And today, we're going to do Pet Cemetery. Now, this one was actually recommended by my wife. She said she grew up on this. She loved it. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. As you guys know, I didn't do scary movies growing up. I just didn't fuck with them. Nope, nope, not me. I didn't do it. But since I'm an adult and I can handle them, I'm taking my journey through a lot of these scary movies. Um... Now, with that being said, I'm not sure what this movie is about. I'm not sure if, I, well, I'm assuming it has to do with a cemetery filled with pets. So, I'm if I was to assume, I'm thinking it's going to be zombie pets or something. I'm not sure, but we're going to get to it. Um, but with that being said, I want to say thank you guys for clicking on my video, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to consider becoming a member so you can see my full reactions and other benefits, uh, go to www.2epicproductions.com where you can actually sign up to become a member. Um, the other thing is, if you like my editing style and want your videos edited, um, your movie reactions, TV show reactions, cartoon reactions, whatever, you can shoot me an email at moviemangreg87 at gmail.com. That way we can discuss your goals, your rates, and everything like that as well. But with that further ado, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the reaction. All right? I am ready for the cemetery. Of pets. All right. Pet cemetery with the with the creepy music. This is where my kitty lays. No more of these screams and hollers. We live for five and twenty days. It cost me fifty dollars. So it looks like I'm right. It's a cemetery full of pets, and my man just wrote a dope poem. <laughs> about his about his dead pet so is this like a cemetery for like so I'm assuming this is for this like this small town maybe because who really has a pet cemetery I've never really known to be like to see an extensive pet cemetery like I know you buried your dog in the backyard or somewhere if your dog pass or your frog or goldfish or whatever, but I've never seen like a dedicated space, like an actual pet cemetery. So I'm intrigued to know, is this something that really happens? Is this something that's normal? Do it not happen today? Hmm, let me know people, if you guys ever had a, like, had a pet. Oh, Steven, if you buried your pet in an actual Pet Cemetery. Okay, so this is a Sting Stephen King movie. Okay, so I know this is about to be good then. Ah, uh, here we go with the Daniel Station Wagon. Oh, uh, if you don't know by now, I hate Station Wagons. I hate them. I don't know why I have such a deep hatred for them, but I hate them. Look at the wood panel. <laughs> Finally here. What do you think? It's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so, he bought that house. This is her first time seeing it. Do people still Decided do that today? To wake up and see Just what buy a house and, like, huh? you know, the spouse never even seen it before? My, my uh -huh. wife would have killed me if I bought the, our, our house and she didn't even see it. In fact, she, de she planned the whole thing. She uh, designed the entire... I let her have... Rice to design my house. Oh shit. That baby about to walk into the road. Ooh. Oh shit. Come on. Oh. Holy shit. I corralled him for your missus. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm calling CPS on y'all. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Lewis Creed. Judd Crandall. <laughs> Mr. Crandall, yeah. there's a path over there. Do you know where it goes? Oh. 
I'll stay off that path. Yeah. Uh, that's a good story. A good walk. I'll take you up there sometime. Tell you the story, too. After you get settled in. Great. Uh, excuse me, I've got to get... Now, this, this sounds like a story I should have heard me before Same we here. moved in. Come on, Ellie. Give me a hand. Good. It's a good story. I'm down that road. Oh, stood up to too long. I'll let you know when I get out of there. good to see people in it again. Look at that stone walkway. Oh, Ooh, shit. Scared the life out of me, Church. They named the cat Church. Come All right. Me. Supposed to be short for Church Hill? That road and those Orenko trucks, the two main reasons is there. Well, where does it lead? Pet Sanitary. Pet cemetery. Mm. There's a damn road. Uses up a lot of animals. Oh, a lot of cats and dogs castles. get hit. My little girl's got a cat. Winston Churchill. Aha! Uh -huh, caught it! Sure. Caught it! Oh! That makes sense. Like, that's a crazy road. You got all those trucks coming in, passing back and forth. It's just a matter of time till Winston Churchill is flattened. I wish I had a doctor around with my stomach pain so bad. <laughs> Guess I'll never be lucky. Hell, I ain't married anyone. Alrighty. Bye, Missy. Nobody asked you. <laughs> that was a lot of information that I didn't need to know. It says Pet Cemetery, honey. It's misspelled, but that's what it says. Ellie, wait a minute! That's not I how you spell cemetery? Problems. I don't know how to spell cemetery, pets, apparently. A lot of kids don't have <laughs> Built by broken hearted children. Well, they have to learn about death somehow, now don't they, Mrs. Creed? Why? Well, it's part of life. Can I have the baby? They don't know about death. <sighs> then a lot can happen. If church dies, what if you die and has to go to the pet cemetery? Honey, church will be fine. No, it won't. Not in the end. In the end, he's gonna grow. He isn't. Oh, man. Yep. Conversations with a young kid. High school. I look so That's forward to these with my kids. It doesn't seem long to me. Speaking of pets, we still trying to figure out what we gonna get my son. My son's six, but I don't know. We, he, he wants some kind of reptile. He wants a bearded dragon, but we ain't doing that because them boys smell. My sister had a bearded dragon for her kids, and the foul stench that they put out. Yeah. Hell no, we ain't getting them no bearded dragon. I don't know, maybe a, a snake or something. I don't know. School here isn't like in Chicago. I don't want church to get his nuts cut, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my cat's nest to be snipped. The road's a lot more dangerous than any operation. Just don't shilly shally, Lewis. Give the little girl a promise. Don't shilly shally. Church will be fine. I promise. Yay! Yep. And if I gotta break that promise, I'm like, blame your mama. She the one who made me say that shit. <laughs> but if anything does happen while he's under the gas, now it's a one in a thousand shot. But it does happen. You. Yeah, mm-hmm. Making me promise some shit that I can't promise. He shouldn't be this mad about it, though. Gotta go. Like, he got a real bad attitude about it. They got some underlying problems, I think. Because <laughs> uh, that was a little bit more dramatic than it needed to be. Yep, okay, I was about to say, man. He ain't even say goodbye. Over that little... I can't see that little spat. Have a great first day at school, Doc. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh. I was not expecting that, yo. My man's brain is... Oh. I'm going to have to blur that. <laughs> Why they keep zooming into my man's brain like that? Come on, everybody clear out. 
This is my man's first patient? Sir, cardiac monitor. Yes, sir. Need large board. Oh. All right, get. Oh! oh, shit. Oh, oh. Hell no. Yo. How did you know my name? What kind of movie is this, y'all? Like, is this a demon movie? Like, what, what, what the fuck am I watching? Alrighty. That was so unexpected. Like, I... What the fuck she got me watching, y'all? <laughs> Come on, Doc. Oh, shit. To go. My man's tripping. PTSD hit him hard. Real quick. Alright, man. It was, it's something in the water. He's like, if I have to tell you again, I'm gonna choke you up out of this bed. Hey. <laughs> He's like, bro, you ain't got to put your hands on me, man. <laughs> like, for real. You said you were dreaming. I'm not going down here. I'm not doing it. Like, why are you following a corpse? That's out of his mind, literally. This is the place. His mind is split open. The dead speak. The ground beyond is solid. What the fuck is he talking about? The ground beyond is sour. Like, okay, so beyond that wall? Or, I don't know what he's talking about. Getting there. Oh, 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 that shit really happened, y'all. My man's really went out there. I'd be freaked the fuck out. Like, you have a dream like that, and then you like, okay, oh, man, that's a dream. And then you wake up, your ass, your feet dirty like you really was out there. I would be flipping out. As far as your dad is concerned, I'm never gonna be a member of his family. But oh, I damn. You around. I'll be around plenty when you get back. He's like, man, I ain't trying to be nowhere I'm not wanted. That's how fights start. Like, your dad don't want me in his house. I'm not gonna be in his house. I ain't about to. Like, if I'm around that fake shit, I'm gonna lay hands on somebody. That's probably how you feel. Damn, look how fast. They ain't got no speed limit. Come get your goddamn cat off my lawn. Damn. Yep. That shirt's all right. It hasn't been a week. It hasn't even been a week. It's all right. Ooh. 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 What are you going to do with it? Put him in the garage, I guess. Maybe. There's a better way. All right, Judd, what the hell are you about to have me doing? You talking about a better way? So, do we plant them on the outside of the circle, or do we start a new one? The place we're going is on the other side of that. Nah. Nah. Oh, we can't climb over that. We'll break our necks. You know all the places to stay. Nah, Judd, I just had a dream. My man's told me not to go that way. It makes no sense to bury him over there, Judd. I don't want my kids to have to come through here all this way. Judd is on that bullshit, y'all. Now if I want Ellie to come visit my cat, she gotta go through this bullshit. That's number one. Look at this shit. Judd, what's that? 
What the fuck is this, Judd? What you got me out here doing, bro? Just a loon, that's all. What the fuck is a loon, bro? <laughs> nah, Judd. Taking my ass back, man. You got me climbing mountains, Judd. What the fuck, Judd? <laughs> bro. When is this doctor going to question anything? Like, you got me climbing a mountain, bro? Only line I remember all dude saying, he said, beyond the land, it's the land of sour. What is this place? What the? This was their burial ground. No. No. Whose burial ground? No. I said, why, Judd? I had my reasons. You gonna tell me? Soil's thin, but you'll manage. And he's not asking, this is what's pissing me off. He's not asking any questions. And the questions he's asking, like, he's not getting any, any kind of answers to, and he's just going on. Is this like a human sac, I mean, an animal sacrifice that's gonna wake up dead? What's gonna happen? You got me going all the way across country, climbing mountains, trotting down rivers, just to bury this damn cat. I'm gonna tell you. She's never seen into a man's heart. The soil of a man's heart, Lewis, is stonier. Oh, shit. The soil up there in the old McMack burying ground. Oh, shit. He's saying what the old dude was saying. Oh, my man's not about to get hit by a truck crossing the street, is he? Came back from the dead. And it, yo. Christ. I don't. What's the this. fucking catch? What's the catch? Mistake, oh, church. Oh, oh, shit. So is the cat more aggressive? Is it mad? Is it angry? Like dog, you just buried me and shit. Is it mad? Or is it evil now? Oh shit. John, come and get your dog! He sticks to the ground you buried him in! John! Oh. Lot came back all right. But it was never quite the same dog that I knew. Hell no! Oh shit! He died peacefully in the night that second time. I buried him up there in the Pet Cemetery. Where, as you saw, his bones still lie. Has anyone ever buried a person up there? Oh, oh shit. The, hey, that's a good question. My thing is I'm pissed off because it's like, you buried your dog, your dog came back, and you seen how crazy your dog is, and then you had to bury him in the regular pet cemetery, but then you're going to make my ass do the same damn thing knowing my cat is about to come back crazy as shit. Why didn't you disclose that? I'm mad at Judd. I'll be whooping Judd's ass right now. That cat can fucking kill somebody. Christ on his throne. Let me go and rewind. It's where the pain stops and the good memories begin. Has anyone ever buried a person up there? <laughs> Christ on his throne, no. Whoever would. Who would have did that damn cat knowing that the cat was going to come back probably as a psychotic killer? Maybe this cat about to try to kill everybody in the house. Here's a theory. One of his kids gonna die. And he gonna take the kid up there. And then the kid, one of the kids is gonna be a psycho killer. That's my, that's my theory. I think it's gonna be the older, the older girl. Here come that, I said, I'm getting prepared. Nah, that damn cat about to come fuck with him. Ooh, shit. Oh! Oh! Ooh! 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 Ooh!
think she gonna get hit by a truck. And she's gonna bury her. I dreamed he got hit by a car and you and Mr. Crandall buried him in the pet cemetery. That was a silly dream, wasn't it? Is he really alright? Yes. How the hell is she coming up with these kind of dreams like that? Oh shit! Oh! Girl! Yo! It's not that serious! Oh shit! Is she downstairs in, the, in their house? Oh. You should at least let them take a look at your stomach, yo! Make his face to shine upon you and comfort you. Oh shit, is that Stephen King right there? And give you peace. Amen. Yeah, recognize those glasses. <laughs> I'm sure that's, I'm pretty sure that's him. Uh, how'd you got those? Sally's cat. No. It's your cat now. See, Judd, I didn't ask for this. I didn't sign up for this. You didn't tell me that when I bury this cat, it's gonna belong to me now. You didn't say that. Jugging on my goddamn nerves, y'all. Every time I see him. Oh shit! Look at that cat. What's up, Shirley? Died in, in the back bedroom, and, and that's what she was. A dirty secret. Oh damn. I had to, I had to feed her sometimes. Oh shit. But I did it. Oh man. We wanted her to die. <coughs> we wished. She started to look like this oh. monster. Oh. Even now, I wake up and I think, it's not the dead yet. And they'll come home and they'll say, I murdered her by choking. They'll say, you hated her, Rachel, and that was true. And they'll say, you wanted her to be dead, and that was true, too. Yo. And then she died. But you know something? Baby girl, you need some therapy. You need some therapy for real. Like, I get it, understand you felt the relief. You but it was a lot to go. And if I ever. Yeah, you need some therapy, baby girl. I'm going to get you a Valium. Rich, you know I don't take. Tonight you do. Whew, that's wild. Did this truck have something special planned? Well, not something special planned. Something bad is about to happen with this particular truck. Oh shit. Got away from him, that numb shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got this. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, that's not funny. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Pay attention! Ah, oh, shit. Damn, Lewis! CPS! That gotta be the worst feeling in the world. Said they finally took hold. Rachel's asleep. Well, that's what I think. Okay, who's gonna suggest burying Gage? I've got this picture. Judge. Sit in this chair. Ellie. Or 
father. I can't even imagine no shit like this. Something happened like this to one of my kids. Whew! I hope you rot in hell! Where were you when he was playing in the road? You stinking shit! Oh, I'm you with his ass. Oh, shit! Daddy! Damn! Oh. Oh. No. Lewis, it's a funeral. Get a hold of yourself, please. Man, this, this motherfucker just cold caught me. I'm whooping his ass. He hit me at my son's funeral. Oh, my man's. It's about to be another funeral. Fuck that. He gonna, gonna hit me. Yeah, it's my fault. So what? Yeah, he should have been watching. That ain't the point. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> you gonna hit me at my... It's a rat. Mm -mm. Like, I could just imagine someone just blacking out. Like, all that grief that you got already, and then somebody come talking shit like that, and then physically assault you? Oh, it's game time. Mm -mm. Like, I can imagine somebody going insane at that point and just... Going crazy. Ooh. I ain't feeling that. Fuck off, Oh. All right. I feel like he can't bring his kid back now because, like, everybody knows Gage has died. Like, it'd be weird at this point if he buried Gage. At the pet cemetery. For all I know, I may even be responsible for the death of your son. Yeah. What? Yeah. You are. You are. Sorry, I don't know how he's saying that. Judge, the person you put up there ain't the person that comes back. It may look like that person, but it ain't that person. Oh! Whatever lives in the ground beyond the pet cemetery oh. ain't human. Oh. oh! It was four or five days after Timmy's funeral. Fucked out. So You've been through all this shit, Judge. And you would even plant the idea that this would be a good idea yeah, even for He's got a bug. pets? <laughs> you see, Lewis, what I'm getting at. You, you understand. You're telling me that place in Gage was going to die. <laughs> I may have murdered your son, Lewis. Yeah, I blame your ass. Get the fuck out of my house, Judge. <laughs> what can I say? I lost my mind. We all lost our minds earlier. Yeah. Better apologize, because I was going to knock your head off next time I saw you. <laughs> I swear. Remember what happened last time you promised some shit? Come on, oh, shit. That sounds like shovels. Oh, what are you doing, Lewis? Oh, man. My man's about to have a little Chunky running around. Mm -mm. Member talk. The oh, barrier shit. was not meant to be crossed. The ground is sour. You got this demon telling you not to do it. You got a demon, bro, telling you not, not a demon, a dead corpse telling you not to do it. If it doesn't work. She having a bad dream. Really bad. So she he really, she really he can see. He's like the boogeyman. He's a ghost. He's a, oh, so she can see the ghost. ghost. He says he was sent to warn us. He says he was near Daddy because they were together when his soul was this. This place. This. This place. I can't remember. 
when it's so dis dis corporate dis corporate okay all right so that's a good go what kind of painting is that with the cat well if he drops by i'll i'll tell him to call you don't bother chad i'm coming home rachel no you don't want to do that i have to do it chad goodbye rachel ah oh, shit rachel Gotta be so fucking hard. All right. My man holding the corpse of his son. Swear it's going to be all right. Oh my god, that's heartbreaking, y'all. Okay, we did all that. Did the cat do all that? Going back to you. Oh I'm coming for you, Rachel. Oh and this time. I'm taking you with me. I'll get you. I'll get you. Yeah. You still having dreams and shit like that? You need some help. Don't do that, babe. Take it, wait. I can't. I don't know why Judd is on the porch. He know where he was going. Judd was supposed to meet his ass up here to stop him. Oh! You say it was beat up. Oh, you got the insurance package. Damn. Thanks, Pascal. Got me into a car accident now. <laughs> Trying to stop you. Is anyone there? Yes, I'm yelling at you. I've been with you the whole time. I was in the seat behind you on the flight. Bitch, don't you hear me? <laughs> God, my man is growling like that. Which is well, that's a good thing if she gets the truck, truck go right by her house, <laughs> literally. Orange code. This is the same damn truck company that hit her kid. Did this come out first or did Chucky come out first? This is probably how they got the idea. It's something terrifying of a kid, like a child sized killer. <laughs> Let's play Dr. Daddy. Oh, hell no. Nah. Who's here? Who the hell you think? It's me, fool. Oh, hell no. Nah. I got a feeling like his death is about to be gross. 
especially since they got my man's brain out. That kind of set the tone. But we'll see. My man's pulling out a knife. <laughs> he ain't stupid. <laughs> you know Gage got bad intentions. <laughs> Ooh, there go the cat. Ooh, about to cut his Achilles heel. Where did you go? Oh! Oh! You ain't walking. Oh, shit! Oh, man! Aw, oh, damn, they got him like a zombie, bro. His little bite. Death by toddler zombie. Damn. Well, that's all Judd's fault. Shouldn't have said shit to Lewis. Now, you got a, a baby serial killer. Thank you so much. I'm sure things will be fine. I'm not. <laughs> I, I got you here. Rachel! This is all I could do. Oh, shit. She is not prepared to see what she's about to see. She's about to see her little boy Church. running around. Damn. So Lewis, Lewis gonna have to bury his wife too, cause she about to Judd? walk into this death. You were supposed to check on your man first. That's what you were supposed to do. Y'all could have came over here together. Oh shit! Is Judd a zombie now? Like, if you get bit, you turn to a zombie? Mm -mm. I'm not going in there. You need therapy, boo. Every time I hear that voice, I just know you need some therapy. <laughs> I finally came back for you, Rachel. I'm going to twist your back like mine so you'll never get out of bed again. <laughs> Never get out of bed again. Never get out of bed again. Never get out of bed again. Oh, hell no. Oh, Gage. Oh, Gage. Gage. She about to walk into this death. Oh. Ooh. 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 My man's about to walk over there. Gage. Judd's going to be dead. His wife is going to be dead. Now the question is, is he gonna kill Gage? Let it, let it, let him die, or is he about to go bury his wife too? Yep, he got the scalpel, bro. Oh my God! Ellie had a dream that her mother was dead. Or I can't talk to you right now. Ah oh, shit! We had an awful good time. We had an awful good time. What did you? Oh shit. What did you do? <laughs> I played doctor with mommy. No. All right, so did you tranquilize it? Did you kill it? What did you just do to Churchill? Okay, so he killed Churchill again. Now you gotta take care of Chucky. <laughs> you going to jail, bro. Nobody gonna believe a little baby that. Oh, shit. <laughs> J 
bit. His little, his little pitter patter, his little tiny feet. The surround sound is doing a really good job. It's, it's going from one ear to the other. Gage was fucking that place up. <laughs> oh. Ah! Ooh. He was just chewing on his bottom lip. Gage was nibbling on his, his, his lip fat. <laughs> That's right. Oh. 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 oh shit. Oh. Oh. He's biting the shit out of you, bro. Oh, damn. You better kill that toddler. That's a toddler, bro. Come here. I don't like how they got his little face. Like, he look normal right now, but when he was flying down. Oh, shit. Come here. See how easy that was? Damn! <laughs> he like he fell and busted shit for real. Police is not gonna believe you, bro. What? Is he, is he about to kill himself? You going to jail, bro. Cause this all this shit just sounds crazy. My my two year old son came back from the dead, murdered my neighbor, murdered his mother, and then I had to put him down and, and set the house on fire. I'm sorry, Lewis. Lewis going to jail. I'm so sorry, but don't make it worse. Don't. I waited too long with Gage. With Rachel, oh. it will work this time. Oh God. Because she just died. Just died I need a truck a to hit ago. you, bro. My man said it's gonna work with his wife. He done lost his shit. He done lost his shit. She gonna eat you, bro. Hey, honey. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Why her eyeball looked so gross? And then it was pus and shit spewing out of it. That was, ah, oh, man, that was good. That was a good classic movie right there. Stephen King, hey, he know what he's doing when it comes to these stories. It's it's wild because it's like, I know I talk a lot of shit like, dude, what are you doing? But to be under them same circumstances, I could have just imagined 
all sense of reality just breaking. Like, to lose your kid the way you lost them, you would do anything. You would try anything to get your kid back. Like, you would, I'm, anybody in that same situation, I'm pretty sure they would do it as well. You know, hell, I might would have done some crazy shit like that. And then it's like you try to, you know, against all logic and reason, justify doing it. Okay, it didn't work with my son. But hey, maybe it'll work with my wife. She's she's an adult. She didn't die as long. You try to use any kind of justification to to hope that there's a different end result. And but yeah, he just lost all kind of sense of reality at that point, losing his entire family. But the the the, the pus busting out his eyeball, her eye socket. Oh, that was just gross. Like. He's like, oh, yeah, my wife is alive, but what the fuck is on your face? Like, what's going on all in that area? Like, we got to fix that before we can get intimate again. But he, he just went all in. Um, no, it was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't scary, but it was very suspenseful. Um, but I will say it was still entertaining, even though I'm watching this movie and it's like, what, 30 years later? Um, when was this movie made? I don't even know when this movie was made. But let's see. Oh, 1989. So two years. So it's 34. This movie was made 34 years. Uh, 34 years ago. So no, nah, it's still a good movie. So I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna definitely check out the second one soon. Um, but yeah. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. What did you guys think uh, of the actual movie? If you haven't seen it before, um, how did you guys like my reaction? Uh, if I had to say, let's see. It, it it was pretty cool, I would have to say, like the storytelling of it, you know, but a couple of things was predictable. Like I knew it was going to be one of the kids, but I just knew it was going to be Ellie. I didn't know it was going to be like baby Gage running around playing like Chucky. So I, I'm really curious which one came out first, this or Chucky, which one drew inspiration of the, of the child size killer. Um, but yeah, if you want to see this reaction uh, in full, consider becoming a member. Any support definitely helps. Um, the other thing is if you like how I edit this video and if you want your videos edited, again, reach out to me, uh, moviemangreg87 at gmail.com. Or again, you can visit my website at twoepicproductions.com if you would like to become a member. Um, but with that being said, thanks again. I really thoroughly do enjoy you guys watching this with me. Um, please put things in the comments, any uh, behind the stories, behind the scenes. Um, I, I love reading all that information. Like, um, And a lot of you people will actually be given a lot of insight that I don't even think about. So I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to check out my reaction and put your input in. Um, but again, thanks again. I love y'all. And I will catch you guys on the next reaction. Until then, peace. All right, that one's down.